Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Can everyone hear me okay? Hi, I see some people waving. <laughs> so we are at three o'clock, so I think we'll get started. And I just wanted to welcome everybody uh, to Parkland St. John for our holiday edition of Parkland Live. So for those of you who might not be familiar with Parkland, we have a variety of lifestyle options. And today uh, we're inviting you into Carleton Hall at Parkland St. John, which is our all-inclusive lifestyle option. So residents here enjoy the presence of other residents as well as our dining room experience, housekeeping is included, our amenity spaces, shuttle service, and a variety of other things, which you'll learn about today. We're also going to be featuring a holiday recipe with one of our residents, guided by our wellness coach, Mia. And at the end of our tour today, we're going to do a tour of a model suite, and you'll have opportunity to ask us any questions that you might have about Parkland. If you feel as though you need to ask a question during this uh, live Parkland Live, please feel free to type it in the chat. And my colleague, Winnie, is going to help monitor that along the way. And I will make mention that because of COVID, we do have some safety protocols in place. So our employees will be wearing masks. Uh, and we're also, we also have a vaccination policy in place here to help keep our, our residents safe. So with that being said, uh, welcome again. And we're going to uh, head up to our Marco Polo room, which is one of our amenity spaces that features a fully equipped kitchen. Uh, and our residents and Mia are going to highlight a holiday recipe. So Winnie, I'll ask that you flip the presentation up to Mia. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Parkland St. John. This afternoon, we want to say hi to Burl here, Glenna, and of course, Addie's going to present uh, her favorite recipe, Norma, Thelma, and Marion. All right, Addie, we're ready for you. Okay, this afternoon we're going to make an orange, cranberry and orange salad. It is a jellied salad and it will go well with your turkey and your Christmas dinner. I will show you the ingredients we need. We have raw cranberries, an orange, a sugar, we have a celery, and nuts, and, a pa and one package of lemon jello. So we will start by putting the cranberry and the orange through the food chopper. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. It's just bad. Okay. This is what it looks like when you get it chopped up. And to that, we will add, we will add one cup of sugar. Okay, we'll mix this in. And this has to stay in for one hour. But we have one in the fridge that's already in. We're just a change sign. So this is the one that you need? Yes. This, this has been standing for one hour. So the next thing we need to do is get the jello. We have one package of jello and it's partly set. And so we're going to add it to the that is orange okay. and cranberry mixture. Yeah. Here, Abby. Let's stir that. Looks 
And to that, we will add here the celery. And the nuts. And now it's ready to put into our mold. Okay. The mold is in the refrigerator. It's cold. Okay. It's cold. Yeah. To prepare the mold, you can spray it with, with uh, cooking oil. Yeah. Or just run it under cold water. Okay. Okay. Now we have to put it in the refrigerator and let it set. I used to make this, I would make it the day before I would want to get for dinner, so it had lots of time to set. There's a cover for that. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go in the fridge. All right. So how long will um, until it sets, right, Addy? Until it has to set for several hours or overnight. Yeah, good. We have our product here, but we didn't turn it around yet. So for the recipe for um, a picture of the final product, you can also go to Experience Parkland. Perfect. Thank you so much. And maybe uh, what we could do, since we have a lovely bunch of residents here who have, some have lived here for longer than others, and would anyone like to express what it's like to live uh, in a parkland community? Norma? I just love parkland. Our home at, at Carlton Hall makes me, keeps me happy, social, a lot of social activities. I enjoy every bit of it. And I believe we have a newer resident here, Glenna. 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 How long have you been with us, Glenna? Five weeks. Five weeks. So you're brand new. <laughs> I'm, loving it. I'm loving it very much and very happy to be here. Uh, I was widowed a year and a half ago, and living alone is quite different. Yes. And what you're used to. And so uh, this way, I get to see all these lovely people. And some have become very close friends already. Excellent. And were you from the St. John area? Yes, you yes. were, yeah. St. John West. St. John West. And, and anyone else like to share their experience? We have a lot of fun. You got a lot, you have a lot of fun. Well, it looks like it from the glasses I see here. <laughs> <laughs> Marion here and Addie have been with us since opening, so almost six years. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And would you say that Mia and the wellness program that we offer is a, a very important part of, of your everyday life here? Yes, yes it, is. it is. Yes, it is. Excellent. We couldn't do it without Mia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mia. Yeah. Wonderful person. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Well, I know that uh, I'm excited to try the recipe. I know it's going to take some time for that to set, uh, but please feel free to uh, log on to experienceparkland.com and you can check that out. And what would you what would you serve this with? How would you typically eat this? You could serve it with lettuce and, and mayonnaise if you wish. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I can't say I've ever heard of this recipe, but we're certainly going to try it later. And at this time, we're going to now invite um, you on a virtual tour with Kaylee Rash, who is our lifestyle consultant, and I will allow her to introduce herself. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, everyone. I'm Kaylee Rash. I'm the lifestyle consultant at Parkland St. John. And I'm going to be taking you through a tour of one of our one bedrooms. Uh, we do have a variety of different layouts. So this is our showroom that we're going to enter now. So the door opens for you. We're going to use the fog. We're going to go right in. So this suite is furnished right now. It's set up. But typically, when you move in, you would bring all of your own furnish, all your own furnishes, and um, as well as your pictures too. So we come into the kitchen here. You'll notice a really nice countertop, stone countertop with stainless steel appliances. So you have your fridge, your microwave, and your dishwasher all included in your suite. Nice size kitchen, lots of space for um, for your dishes and things like that. We'll come over here and you'll notice that there's some nice storage. So there's a closet here, it can be used for a pantry or storage, as well as a coat closet here. So another really good size closet. Nice open concept, we're gonna come in, there's space here for a dining room table and our living area here. So again, nice and spacious with your room there. Nice size entertainment center with the TV. All right, we'll go in here. And so we have the call system here, you'll notice on the wall. So this is a 24 hour emergency call system. So you would have something similar um, to a lifeline, a pendant that you could press if you ever need emergency help. And the intercom system help is always closed. You press the button, they'll talk to you through this intercom and ask you if you need help. And the staff will come over, certified care staff will come over to assist you with what you need help with. Here we will enter the one bedroom. So in this particular room right now, we have a single bed set up. Um, but it can certainly accommodate larger beds such as a king or a queen. All the curtains and shears are included in your suite as well. So they're here when you arrive. We have more storage here, some more closet. And a nice large bathroom, it's all accessible. So you have a bathroom here, little lift, then there's a built-in chair, as well as the shower hose. So you can sit down while you're taking a shower. Lots of space here for your towels and face cloths and personal products. And then here we have an emergency pull cord. So as well as in addition to your pendant, you also have a cord here that you can pull and staff will respond right away. So we'll come back out here into the living room area. So included with your suite, we have, I know Kathy touched on a little bit about our dining experience. We have a licensed dining room and you have your two meals included as well as housekeeping for your towels and linen. And there are laundry facilities on each floor to do your personal laundry in. We also have a shuttle service available. So we have transportation to take you to and from your appointments, which is great if you have an appointment that if, if you're no longer driving or if you are driving, but you need to be dropped off somewhere at the front door, the chauffeur will do that for you. So, we have also, we have the bowling alley on site and a movie theater. And you saw earlier where Addie was doing her recipe, the Marco Polo rooms, that's our event room. All rooms can be booked by the residents here to have family gatherings, but we also have our full recreational program as well. So there's scheduled activities led by Mia, but residents can also host those activities on their own as well. So we also have another service line. So here at Parkland St. John, we have four service lines. 
We have our independent living, which we are touring right now. We also have supportive living. So that includes um, supportive care. So there's care staff on the floor who would provide you with care if you needed help getting dressed or help getting in the shower or medication administration. We have certified staff to help you with that. We also have assisted living. That is our licensed special care home. And we also have the nursing home. So everything is attached in one building by links. So it's really great to be able to access each, each uh, building under one roof. Okay, so that, uh, that concludes the tour and we're gonna open it up for questions. If you have any questions, Kathy and myself would be very happy to answer those. We'll go over here. You can yeah. join us in the living area here. Sit down. Perfect. And we can actually hold that. Yeah. Turn the thing around. Perfect. And we're just going to switch over so you can see our faces here. Perfect. So was there anyone on the call today who had any questions for us? Winnie, um, we're not able to see the chat uh, or the, the video of the others at this point. Um, was there any questions that were in the chat box? Not as of yet, uh, but absolutely feel free. There is a chat function within Zoom if you'd like to type in your question. Or if you want to take yourself off mute, you can simply ask us uh, live and in person. We'd be welcome to have that. One thing we will mention is that, you know, although COVID-19 is still certainly present in our communities, uh, we do have safety protocols in place. So when residents do move in, uh, new residents moving in, when this becomes your home and your community, because our, our staff, you know, we're, we have our vaccination policy, we are wearing our masks. You might have noticed today that our residents are not wearing masks. That is option. Uh, you know, they certainly can wear one if they, they like. Uh, but after you move in, it, it, you know, it is your home. We want everyone here to certainly feel, feel comfortable um, and we try to our best to implement and be proactive with those safety protocols because that is the utmost importance uh, to us as resident safety. And it's certainly prevalent uh, nowadays with, with the pandemic happening, but we want everyone to feel at ease that we are uh, taking the appropriate measures. And we're also offering uh, in-person tours. So although today uh, you would have experienced what we would consider a virtual tour, uh, we're certainly um, more than happy to have you come in. We do require a double vaccination um, before you enter our buildings and some screening questions and such. But Kaylee uh, here in St. John, if we have local uh, individuals on the line today, she would be more than happy to provide that consultation. Uh, and sometimes it's nice to sit down in person and be able to view a suite uh, in person and see what our amenity spaces look like. And if there's anyone on the line that perhaps are from areas outside of St. John or outside of New Brunswick, if you're in Ontario or Nova Scotia, certainly same thing applies. Um, you know, we are doing in-person tours there as well. And the easiest way to access um, the appropriate person would be at experienceparkland.com. And this is where you would search for your location in your area and your con the contact information for that consultant would, would be there. Kathy, we did have a request or an ask about a tour of a two bedroom suite. And um, can this individual, uh, it would, are they looking for the two bedroom here in St. John? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't currently have a two bedroom available right now at our St. John location. Oh, they're, in, they're actually in Ajax. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. So um, <laughs> we're, we're not quite, uh, we're not quite there uh, yet with Ajax, but um, we'll, we'll certainly put you in the, in contact with the right person. Um, so if you, uh, Winnie, I, I think you have access to the, the name there. 
we'll certainly put you in touch with the appropriate person for further, further communication on that. Absolutely. And I'll just add to that, uh, our sales center is open in Ajax. Uh, the building is still under construction. So brand shiny and new. I believe we're going to start in-person tours um, in the spring, uh, but you can certainly visit our sales center in Ajax. But I will definitely uh, put in Lorraine's contact details right in the chat so you can give her a call directly. Thank you, Winnie. Were there any other questions? Oh, yes, there is. There's too many things for me to do here. Uh, <laughs> do you have a waiting list for suites and how long is the typical wait? And if is this applicable for, are you looking at the St. John uh, campus? I think if you can answer it for St. John and then open it up to all campuses, that would be great. I'll let Kaylee speak to that. Sure, yes. Yeah. So we do have some vacancies depending on what service line you're looking for. We do have a waiting list for a two bedroom. Um, they do come up on occasion, of course, but you can put yourself on a waiting list. So the process for wait list would be, if you're interested, um, we do have a couple people right now. So yes. when a two bedroom would come available, if after you've uh, made a deposit, if it's something that you're interested in, we would be going through the list of individuals to see, you know, if it's the appropriate time and the appropriate suite uh, for you. And if it is, then you would have that first first right of ref refusal as you had placed the deposit. Yes, exactly. So we do currently have some vacancies right now, just no two bedrooms, but we do have one bedrooms and studios available in our independent service line. And many times we find that you know, when someone is ready to make that decision to move to Parkland, a lot of times they may move into maybe a larger one bedroom first. And then when that two bedroom comes available, they would make the transition to that appropriate suite when it became available. So that is always an option as well. There is another question on the line. Okay. Um, and it's about a trial program. And I think this is from the same individual in Ajax. Um, so Kathy, I don't know if you want to talk about that and maybe they can connect with uh, Parkland on Eglinton West or Parkland on the Glen in the meantime. Yeah, so we do offer um, what we would consider at all of our locations, you know, based on availability, of course. Uh, if someone was looking for uh, what we would consider a short term or a trial stay, uh, we can certainly, certainly offer that based on, you know, the fact that that particular site has the availability of suites to, to do so. Um, and what we can do, as Winnie mentioned in the meantime, uh, is put you in connection with what we would consider our sister locations uh, in Ontario, and they can really guide you further on what that, that might look like. Um, some sites may have uh, you know, a minimum stay parameter. Uh, usually we, we would be looking at you know, a three month minimum uh, for someone to come in for a short term stay. Uh, some sites have the ability to furnish suites, others don't. So it's just, you know, it depends on the area that you're, you're currently living in or perhaps the site that you're, you're most interested in. So we'll certainly, um, again, put you in touch with those appropriate people to kind of discuss that, that further. But certainly we have um, those options available uh, across, across all the provinces. And mm -hmm. it's a nice way to see, you know, if, if Parkland is right for you. And oftentimes it, you know, turns into that, that permanent stay, which we will mention as well, that even though you might be coming in as, as what we would consider long-term resident, um, you would actually, it, all of our agreements are 30 day notice. Uh, so that's something that, you know, we, we've always stood strong uh, yeah. with that we don't want anyone feeling like they're locked in, you know, for a period of time. So they are month to month agreements. That's great, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and, and just to, to add to that, um, Lorraine at Ajax can also put you in touch with the team at Eglinton if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, so I just wanted to, I think uh, Lorraine would be a great first contact for you and then we can put you in the right, uh, the right direction after that. These are great questions. Do we have any others? Let's see if there's any brave souls on there that want to uh, ask in person. 
<laughs> I'm wondering if that recipe had time to set yet. Probably not. <laughs> I didn't get to have my, my lunch yet, so I might have to partake. Mm. Yes. Taste that recipe. <laughs> I did put the link uh, in the chat as well for our Taste of Home landing page, which has Addie's recipe along with uh, 12 other great holiday recipes. So I definitely encourage you to go take a look, uh, try Addie's or try another recipe. So feel free to take a look. And if there's no further questions, um, I guess we'll we'll close out our our holiday Parkland Live. And I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, whether it be your first time joining a Parkland Live or perhaps you've joined us uh, in the past. And I want to also thank my colleague uh, here, Kaylee, and, and she did a great job doing the tour today. <laughs> Sometimes it's not as easy when you don't have a, you know, a physical person in front of you and we're, <laughs> we're trying to get, uh, you know, with, with technology, yes. but you did a great job. So uh, I know our residents were excited to participate today. And as you can see, they're they're quite engaged in our, our wellness program. So uh, thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. And we're, we're looking at hosting these uh, on a regular basis in the new year. So we'll be looking at a rotation of monthly. Um, and right now the plan is that we'll be taking Parkland Live to uh, Miramichi next potentially. So we'll, we'll make sure that uh, we communicate that where we're going to be next. And um, we'd love you to join us again. Thanks everyone.